Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to paint an iris. So let's do it. <laughs> Why is that funny? Yeah, iris, look. Iris, do you like it? Okay, so to start, I'm just gonna go through my materials. I have my Arches watercolor paper, my Windsor Newton Cotman watercolors. I have my Princeton snap brushes with me. I have a size six and I'm going to use, mm, sorry, one second, size 10 maybe. Okay, so I have actually tried out this painting multiple times and it hasn't always worked in my favor, but I'm gonna try it again and hopefully it works this time. Okay, so we are gonna be painting an iris flower. Beautiful flower. Didn't know much about it before it was suggested to me. So yeah, we're just gonna go for it again in my world for like the fifth time. But I'm gonna try and make it smaller. So an iris flower has petals that point up and then petals that fall down. It's actually quite interesting to look at. So. We're going to start with the petals that are pointing up like so. And I want to try and make this smaller just and it has very jagged edges. So just like be loose with it. Don't think about too much about it. Just, you know, go with it. Okay, just I feel like this flower is kind of forgiving in that sense that it doesn't have to be a perfect shape. You know what I mean? You can just kind of go with the flow, okay? So a very light wash of whatever color you're going to be using. I'm going to be doing a purple iris. And then there's other petals there too that are pointing up, but they're kind of behind on this view. So I'm just going to create one behind, but I'm going to leave some white space in between just so you can see the difference between the two petals. Okay, you're gonna hopefully let that stay wet. And then you're gonna do the petals pointing down. So now you have these ones and they're just, again, just like a, a really loose petal shape. It does not have to be perfect, okay? Because the way they fall on all irises are kind of different, right? They all look different from different points of view. So just basically have some petals that are falling. You know, you can look up a reference photo if it helps. <clears throat> okay, so like that and like that. Okay, so there's kind of the shape of your iris. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take your colors and you're just going to drop them in. The color on the bottom, the on the bottom petals of the iris tend to be darker. So I'm just going to drop some darker color on these ones. Okay, and you can bring some of that color up too, obviously, but try and keep the ones on top a bit lighter. So you're just not gonna cover as much of it with that darker color. You can do the edges, you know, if you want some like little lines. <clears throat> I'm gonna put some darker purple in there. So I'm using mauve and dioxazine purple for this. Okay, but you can use whatever colors you like. If you look up irises, they come in all these awesome colors. Purple is just the one I've seen the most, so that's why I'm doing that one. Just putting some darkness around some of the edges. that okay and then I'm gonna just take my smaller brush um, I'm gonna take some yellow so they have some yellow in these now just make sure you don't have too much water on your paintbrush just because if you drop it on there it might just take over and you just want a little bit of yellow okay so you're just gonna tap it in you're not gonna move it all around just because then it will kind of if you mix the purple and yellow you'll get a bit of a brownish color. You just want peaks of that yellow. 
okay? And now I'm gonna take my sap green for the stem, because the stem kind of connects up into those petals, and you're just gonna touch the base of those petals, even that top one there, and create kind of like a bulb shape here. And then a stem. Okay. Might take a tad bit of brown. Now I can create another bulb here for another iris flower. If you want to go full flower, go for it, or just like a little bulb. That's what I'm going to do. I might even take a bit of darker green just to give it a bit of contrast with that stem. Maybe a bit of brown, like that. And then some purple for this. Bit of a darker purple in there. Go back to that green, just, there you go. And there's a very simple iris flower, okay? So it's a very loose representation of it. Um, if you would like to make it a bit more realistic, what you can do is wait for it to dry. Um, so I'll just show you quickly. Okay, so this is completely dry now. If you wanna add a bit more detail, you can add like another layer um, just of some lines. So I'm just taking a really light wash and adding some lines and just really light wash so it's not too prominent, just to add a bit more detail and texture to those flowers. And you can just do it however you think it looks best. Your preference, your painting. You can darken it up a bit if you like. You can even do some a bit more detail in those stems too, just by going over it with a different layer. So you'll get these defined lines when that first layer is wet, or sorry, when the first layer is dry, and you can go over like that. Okay, and it just makes it look a bit more realistic when you have that second layer, but it's totally up to you. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Say bye-bye.